G'day everyone and welcome back to another David Maxwell Golf video. With this setup to you, it might look a little bit strange, but actually to quite a lot of people I have been asked, what does a setup look like if I want to set it up in my living room or maybe like me they've got a spare lounge room which is really a kid's toy room. Uh, so I've gone and I've taken over my kid's toy room here tonight to show you guys how you can set up a home simulator providing that you've got enough ceiling height here with your Spawnier net that has a white sheet, a projector that's a BenQ projector right there, and you can get some really awesome simulator fun with the Garmin R10 literally indoors in your home in a lounge room. Now, of course, like uh, all great men, I've done this while my wife was out. Don't do it while she's home. Just kidding, really, my wife is actually fantastic to let me do this. I told her I was doing this before I did it. Maybe that's a hot tip. Tell them what you're doing before you do it. Anyway, Onto this, so what I've done, and if you, in terms of the setup, it is pretty much the same as your standard Garmin R10 setup. I've done a lot of videos on that. Please just go check out one of those videos. But there are some differences. So the differences that I'm gonna talk about right now, the BenQ projector, it is not mounted to a roof, although you could mount it to a roof if you wanted a permanent fixture, but it is just here. You can see it right here, literally, I've got it sitting on a little coffee table and that's projected. It does need to be quite close to the screen. You can adjust the settings to fit the size of the screen. So these Spawnier screens are really, really big, especially in the SPG-8. So I've got the SPG-8 hit net here. Now I'm six foot four tall. And as you can see, that's massive. And also my wingspan does not get to either side. So if you're looking for an net indoors that you're not gonna shank into a wall, this is definitely the one to get. Enough rambling on, let's hit some wedge shots, see how it performs, see what it looks like. I am gonna have the screen recording on just in case. Last time when I filmed it outside in low light, my camera, what it does is it sometimes puts bands across it. I have tried to slow the frame rates down and all that sort of stuff to, to get it better and it is better. But it might, if you see some bands coming across there, that's not from the projector or the R10 or anything else, that's just from the camera. So I'll have the screen recording on, but let's hit the approach section. All right, so I've got a couple of clubs here to start with in my uh, little Sunday's golf bag. How cool is this thing? Just like a little pencil bag, stand bag. If you haven't checked them out, check them out. I've got a review on Sundays as well. I'll link it in the description below. All right, so I am in the approach section. Let's just try 55 meters. What are we looking at here? 92, I don't really want to hit a full one yet. I want to get some confidence up. So 83 meters, let's go 83 meters. Okay, I like that. That's a nice number for a 56 when you're warming up. All I've got here is the HDMI to the USB-C, which is my iPad that is using the projector to project on the screen. So 83 meters, I've got a 56 degree. Let's go. Okay, left the face open, but that's not too bad. I'll take that in a uh, real round of golf. Let's go again. Mmm, got that a little bit chunky. But that's really good. One thing to note as well while I'm doing this is my kids are in bed. So they're in bed asleep. My wife is out, like I mentioned. And this is not a noisy setup. So if you're worried about your kids being in bed and that sort of thing, and you're still wanting to get some wedge practice in or some short game practice, this is a great setup. Let's go. Oh, a little chunky again. I'm trying to flight them there rather than hit full one. So I might just, just hit a bit more of a smoother standard normal shot. Leaving that face open. Could be that I might need to just adjust that Garmin a little bit too. I just adjusted the Garmin a touch because the way the setup is just on the angle here to fit into my uh, living room. Might need to just fiddle with it a little bit. It's getting closer. All right, happy days. That's hitting I don't actually know where that's hitting. Maybe I should look and just see exactly where that's hitting in terms of height on the net, um, because some people are gonna be interested in that too. This is pretty much a full 56. 
Oh, I'm not even anywhere near it, am I? I'm basically, that was almost halfway. Like it was the first one I looked at, but that was like kind of like there. So, let's change the pin now. Let's go into something else. Well, we've got 151. So the only other club that I've got in my Sunday's golf bag is an eight iron. 151 is typically not what I hit it, but what I'm just gonna do for the moment, because this is literally, as I'm filming this, this is live, I've got a fan just here. It's actually in a good spot. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work my way into this as though somebody at home was gonna be doing it for the first time, because this is literally the first time that I'm doing this. Um, I did it outside, I have not done it in here. So let's just work ourselves into that. Need to go. Okay, got that a bit thin. Trying a bit of a punchy eight iron to get it on that green. Let's go again. That's better. It's really good. There we go. Now one thing that you could do to make this even better, which I didn't do because I'd already done it, is you could put like, just, I've got a, actually a mat under this mat, um, but you could put like another mat under there just to stop the balls bouncing, but I have pretty much concrete tiles there anyway, so that's fine. It's just gonna bounce back to me. Go again. I like that. It's a nice shot. Those little punchy shots. Now this ceiling is the exact same size as the one that I've got out there. So technically I can have full swings, but it's just a little bit of getting yourself used to the fact that you are hitting indoors without scaring the crap out of yourself, to be honest. All right, let's go. Oh, that's not, that's not very good. That was definitely chunky. Boom. Let's get one more in that circle. And we might try a bit more of a fuller shot. I don't know if that's gonna turn enough, but it is a good shot. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's try and move it on a little bit to a bit more of a fuller shot. I don't know how this is gonna go. This is live, so. Slap a like on there for that. Dedication to the cause. But if you've got any questions about the projector affecting the ball flights, the projector affecting the numbers, I haven't seen that at all. Um, it's been really fantastic. I don't know whether it's just because it's sitting up a bit, although I had it on the ground outside and it was still fine, uh, but it literally has not affected the radar reading of the Garmin R10. I'm not sure whether that was an app, app update in the Garmin but either way, it's working perfectly fine. That is a good shot to start with. Going at 165, would have been good on the other hole too. Okay, so you can see my ball speed is probably down a little bit. My club speed is also down because I am hitting here in the lounge room and that's something to be mindful of. A lot of people have told me with the Garmin that the distances are shorter. Now, let me just say that if your environment is something different to say like a driving range or an open golf course or something where you can really open your shoulders and have zero consequence, you're gonna swing slower, your distances are gonna be a little bit shorter. In my garage where I'm comfortable, I'm hitting this eight iron around about 160 to 165 meters of carry, nearly 180 yards in here. That first one, I thought I hit it good. It's only 150 carry, I think. 150 carry, so there's a difference there of 10 to 15 meters just because I've changed the environment. Just something to bear in mind. That's not gonna make it. I know that this roof is the exact same height as the garage, but it does, because I'm not used to it, just make me question it. So, let's just go for glory and swing confidently. That's not it. That's a chunk and run. It's gonna get there, but it's not it. There you go. That's much nicer. 82 swing speed still, so obviously I'm not swinging my fastest, so I normally get this up at around 88 miles an hour for an eight iron, and that's the difference in carry. So 
I will try just one more. See if I can bring myself to do that. There you go. 83. So I thought that was quicker. I hit it really good. But I'm happy with that. Honestly, like when we're inside, we're trying to hit these numbers. We, we are gonna be limited, but it is still practice. It's still gonna get you better at playing golf. That's the whole point of the Garmin R10 is to give the average golfer an opportunity to get better at playing golf. And if you've got something like a Spornia set up inside, which really is pennies on a dime in terms of how much it costs to actually set up your own indoor simulator, this is fantastic. All right guys, so what if we are on a range and we just want to open range here, we just want to hit to a flag. So I've set the flag at 158 meters and we're just going to see what this looks like when you're inside. So um, if you wanted to play some shot shape sort of things, you can for now. I'm just going to basically have a stock shot at that pin and see how this feels. That might be very good in terms of distance. So 156 carry, 160 with the rollout. Let's take a look at that. Let's change the view. What do we got? We can see that we've hit the green there. I don't think I can zoom in to the green. That's basically pin high. And I'm very, very happy with that. 82 mile an hour swing speed again. So the swing speed is consistent. 117 mile an hour ball speed with 17, uh, sorry, 19 degrees of launch. Perfect numbers for me really with an eight iron. Back down the line. So you can see that that one was a bit of a draw, launching at 19 degrees. If we wanted to muck around with this, can we do it inside here on the simulator? Can we get one a little bit lower and kind of rolling out a little bit more with maybe a little bit less spin? There's a little bit less spin. There's definitely a little bit lower in the launch, 114. 142 rolling out a lot more to 156. That, that's really incredible. If we take a look at this again, we're hitting it really on the mark and we're literally a couple of feet from the pin. So what I've just done there is I've gone and I've hit a standard stock shot and then I've gone, okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and manufacture a shot. Say if I was trying to hit a bump under a tree but I still needed to carry that distance and I knew the eight iron could do it, these are the shots that you can practice in here, literally in your own living room at night when the kids are in bed, you're not gonna wake anybody up. And if you already have a spawning net, you just gotta get the white sheet and the projector. That's it. You are ready to rock and roll. So the next thing that I wanted to mention guys is the things that my kids absolutely love about the Garmin R10, about the, the Awesome Golf app, but also the ability now to be able to use this indoors. So we have what they call the shootout uh, challenge, I believe. So this is the one where you hit your ball at buildings, it breaks down all the buildings, they fall into holes, it's so much fun. So you get like uh, six shots basically, and you get points allocated for each shot. So this, is, this, is, this one is perfect for the kids. Uh, let's hit these buildings here. So right in the middle, we got the big buildings at the back. They fall in a hole, the kids love it. You get yourself some points. Then what you can do also is you can move these targets around. So you can make it a little bit easier. So you got like 19 meters if the kids are only, you know, really young, can't hit it that far yet. And there we go. Oh, I didn't quite get that big one at the back. 116 points. And they also have do, 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 do. Oh, lost my iPad. another side over here. Let's just do one over here and that will pretty much do us, I think. Get in there. That could be really good. Oh, that is really good. What's that for points? 314. Giddy up. So you can see what I'm trying to get at is that basically when you've got this set up, the kids can have a whole lot of fun. You can get a whole lot of practice in. You can even play some virtual rounds yourself if you wanted to go and play some virtual rounds. Give yourself a two club challenge. Do this in your living room. But either way, it's a very simple, very easy, very quick setup um, because your PowerPoints are already accessible here in your living room as opposed to being outside with the night golf video that I did. And does it really get much better? I mean, this is awesome.
So guys, that's it from me today. I really do hope that you like this video. If you do, please make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment a positive comment. I get back to every single comment in the comment section. If you do have any questions about the net setup, please throw them in there and I'll get back to you. I'll also tag the Spawnier guys in here so they can help with those questions as well. Uh, but if you did want to check out any of their stuff, I will link them in the description below. So thanks heaps guys, I really appreciate it and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.